Good afternoon, folk off YouTube. <laughs> I'm gonna have to change that saying. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, probably the last time ever. Right. My name's Ian. Welcome to my channel, and of course, welcome to me shed. Yesterday, I did a testathon, all day testing stuff. The video when I edited it was way too long, so I had to split it into two, and I upload the. The welder test which was interesting soon but today uh, well let's step back and show you really you can tell it's the day after because the, uh, the, the the MIG welding gas bottle is still there right okay so we've had a drop-off you know I don't, how can you fault that people come into your house and dropping stuff off uh, which means I haven't even that was the job this morning sorting that out and then that came and I looked at that and I thought well that's a lot of aluminium and aerial so I'll sort that well, to, that I can use for putting when I start separating the wire between household and singles and, and strippable stuff I've got this nits out but the aluminium's got to go first because it's rather big and bulky which meant I needed to sort out my aluminium bag because it was overflowing so we'll go eat shed uh, I've seen it worse and then well, we'll go shed first and we'll come back so, yeah, you're nearly there, you're nearly there, you're getting closer to bench. So I decided to uh, sort out my aluminium. So there's my aluminium bag, I have it hung up on a peg. It was that heavy, it was actually in that box, it was overflowing. I have more aluminium to take to pieces, but I thought, well, if I, if I separate it now, I can weigh in next week. So it's a bag here full of all rolled I've got a bag here of those fire extinguisher ends I really don't know what they're going to go in hopefully they'll go in as alloy cuts could go in as cast I don't know I'll ask Robert at the scrap trade centre alloy cuts and cast Well, some of the fire extinguisher tops are cast. Okay, so that's that. And then I thought, oh, I wonder how my, uh, my, 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 my experiment went on in the fire last night. Because taking Raphael Scrapper's advice, uh, I altered things on my test smelter. Uh, Chris from the recycling, uh, Ultimate Recycling Channel advised me to inject forced air into it. Uh, I can do that, and I'll probably explain when I get to the fire. Let's go there. Well, as we, pa well, it, as we pass, it's four o'clock, which means it's five o'clock somewhere, doesn't it? In America, in, in Germany, where my good friend Guido Wondelt is, all handmade channel. Five o'clock there, because they're nowhere in front. So therefore, we'll have one of these made in the UK, Beer from Madrid. Let's see how we went on, went on with the fire last night. It was quite chilly here last night, so we had the fire on. And we had it roaring. Right. Let's see. But this is for Chris, the ultimate recycling. If you go back to when I got the fire, there's supposed to be a glass door. There wasn't. I had a heat resistant painting which worked and then it just shattered. So I blanked it off. You open it up, you've got an air control here, but you also have an air control under here. So I have a way of forcing air in. Now you can see that when you close it, it's basically in line with that because that asbestos rope seals it off there which means air has got to go through there 
and up through the grate. That's great for me. Oh, that's bad in it. Because it means I can for I can build up a good bed of hot coals, then I can force her through or under, up, and really raising that temperature. But I had this in last night, and I'm telling you, it was glowing red. And if that's not melted that the tin cans I put in, aka one of them, I'm giving up. Let's get it out. Oh, that doesn't look uh, so promising, or does it? Oh, we've got, oh, I've got some aluminium. Got some more aluminium there. I've got some more aluminium there. So that's obviously fell over. Uh, I'll just empty the ashes and then we'll have a look at that. Why empty the ashes? Just in case any. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I got a button. Well, there's one button, there's more buttons. So... All right, let's go to the bench with that. I'm a bit of a lazy scrapper. Oh, I don't have the space because I've got too much S scrap okay said it so I tend to just strip things aluminium goes all in one bag you know copper goes all in one bag and then at a later date I know it's not the most effective way I then sort it out so the aluminium bag was overflowing literally so I thought well aluminium's come give me time to sort that out on the way back, we'll have another cheeky drink. Oh, that thing that uh, people may have seen on my first testathon video and the little short I put up uh, emitted the magic smoke. So someone did comment and saying they'd be interested if I took it apart to just see what blew up. More than likely to be Hang on, it was, if I remember, it was upside down, I was doing it. And there, pop, I mean, that side. Mm, so it weren't the switch. I don't know. We'll take it bits, have a look. Take this with us. Get up. So, let's put it on tripod. Well, like I say, we have got some aluminium, melted aluminium from beer cans. But that tells me, because it was found in the ashes, this thing's, well, you could see something's gone wrong there, hasn't it? Because that was the, ah, look at that. So we've kind of worked a little. So, interesting. Well, let's, well, that was, Pressed, pressed into that was a that was a bottom end of a fire extinguisher. So obviously, that's delaminated. That's oh, nice shiny aluminium there. So something. Whew. I don't want to do that in. Oh, I tell you what. Let's take this bottom part off. Well, we're easy. Yeah. Oh, look at that. I've got an aluminium mushroom. There you go, Raphael. It kind of worked. And that tells me that that weren't deep enough. I did have it deeper. I had it about that length. So that's obviously... I don't know gone in there and forced it over and it delaminated and kicked over. Right, can we get that off? T 
definitely like those. Look at that patterning there. Look at Raphael, look at that patterning. That is definitely an aluminium mushroom. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep that, I'll send it to you, whichever. So, it kind of worked. It's melted, which means it's cast. So it isn't in my cast. Oh, that can go in the old roll, can't it? Uh, I'll get that out. That weren't a good idea, Ian. Not a good idea at all. Not a good idea at all. Tire this because well, it's working but not working. Still, they don't look like aluminium cans, do they? So, where aluminium cans only fetch 40 pence a kilo, 400 pound a ton, this is all rolled, which is 850. Thousand pound a ton, so twice the price. So drink it, throw it in the fire. Winner, winner. Uh, uh, let's pause a moment while I cogitate. Well, I cogitated and then uh, decided to cut that uh, aerial system up, get it done out the way, clear the bench, then I can. Da, da, da. Sort that out. And then I've got to sort that one out for Scouse Jed. And they've got another video to do as well about something that I should have done and haven't yet, but I will do. Right, uh, I've been shouting in for me. What a fine shed that is. Shouting in for me food. See you in a bit. Well, what can I say? I said it till the day, didn't I? Best laid plans of mice and men. Went in for me tea. Come out to find it's been chucking it down. All my waters, all my cables wet. My tools are wet. Worse than that, I left my shoes outside. So my shoes are soaking wet. <sighs> oh, uh, couldn't. Just stuck for words for once. Hey, I don't know. And the expression. I need to wipe my tools dry. Uh, <laughs> Stop it. Well, they go rusty. <laughs> Through lack of use. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, folks. I'll tell you what. Somewhere in my past life, I was a Viking. And I must have raped a nunnery and bugger a monkery. Right. Well, there's only one place to go when you're at the bottom. <laughs> That's up. <laughs> oh, I have to stop this. Sorry. Sorry, great face. Ah, oh, things have perspired against me tonight. Uh conspired against me perspired that's when that's when a lady sweats because ladies don't sweat they perspire so uh right better bring me stuff in it's gonna chuck it down all night don't want to come out in the morning and find it even wetter so uh let me sort that out and wrap this video up because scrapping irish will be on soon oh for feck's sake I told you, monkery and a nunnery, all in one go. 
that's it i've had enough i can hear scrapping irish so that's it for tonight well it's not because i have to pick it up or i won't be able to shut the door all will i <sighs> well having been delayed by scrapping irish for the last hour and a half you can't make an omelette about breaking an egg see you lot in another vid i hope if i can get out of here